An early morning tragedy has thrown the Quinam Road community in mourning as 43-year-old Kemba Philip Morris and her 8-year-old daughter Zaya perished in their home. According to reports, Kemba was alerted to the fire in her home at around 5.15 a.m. Raising an alarm, Kemba sought to evacuate her family from the burning building. The police and fire services were alerted. When fire officers extinguished the blaze, Kemba and Zaya's remains were found huddled near the back door of the home. Kemba's two other children who escaped the home were rushed to the health facility for treatment. Neighbours and co-workers described 43-year-old Kemba Philip Morris as a pillar in the community. Managing Director of Sky Patisseri and Conference Centre Limited, where Kemba was employed for the past 15 years, said she was a valuable member of the team. Very committed, punctual, honest, reliable. Mm -hmm. Kemba was everything. Wow. Tomorrow morning is Monday, where we start our week dealing with suppliers. I don't know how we will start that. Because this Kemba will do everything. I'm lost. And co-worker Mrs. Mahadeo said they both worked at the bakery on Saturday night and promised to call her friend the next day. Kemba and I worked. The afternoon shift there here last night, mm -hmm. we said our goodbyes and I said to her, I will call her today, 6, 6.30 this morning, the news, this devastating news, I still cannot console myself, I don't know how I will walk, she walk alongside me, I don't know how I will walk without her, I don't know how I, I don't know, I just don't know, I can't understand, can't believe that this happened in just as couple hours. Councillor for Palo Seco, Dana O'Neill Jove, promised assistance to the family. The disaster management unit, I understand, should be here in the morning to visit the family and do a report and guide them as to the next steps, which would entail relief from the Ministry of Social Development. And in addition to that, we will do what we can to guide them in terms of counselling, and other relief that we personally can bring to them. Southwestern Division officers are continuing investigations. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.